<laughs> I'm just gonna agree with her. <laughs> okay. Yep. Sorry. Computer science is a nerd. Shafika. Hello, my name is Nurin Safia. What led me to choose this program was during pandemic two or three years ago, I can say most industry were affected by it and were forced to shut down their businesses due to lockdowns. So a lot of people <coughs> lost their precious jobs and it got me thinking what career that will not be affected by it so and i discovered that it industry will never die actually and um, it jobs are always in demand and it gives um, <coughs> great career opportunities as for me uh, when i was it was back in 2018 that i was uh, i was confident that i would like to pursue in cyber computer science specifically in cybersecurity because I did some research and I was thinking that what kind of career that will be in demand in the next 5 to 10 years like uh, and then I through my research I got into that's where I got into cybersecurity and then I keep on doing my research I search for a university that uh, offers this field which for that time, there aren't many universities that offer cybersecurity field, but turns out Uniten did offer that one, so that's why I decided to go to the Uniten after my SPM. Uh, on the computer science generally, what we learn is there's a lot of programming languages which every co every major in computer science learn, like C, C. We learn oh Python on foundation, during foundation. And then there are also another, there's many other software that we are exposed to, such as Microsoft Access for database. Uh, and then we also use um, Google Collab for our parallel computing. And there's also Java programming. So those are subjects that most major that we take, such as for cybersecurity students, software engineering, system networking, all of us uh, took the same subject. My favorite subject has got to be object-oriented programming. Um, I find it interesting because as it's a bit different from other language that I've learned so far. Um, I got to expose to on how to create those windows by using NetBeans. Have you, have you used NetBeans yeah. before? It's uh, interact. It's not like interactive. It's um, it's object-oriented, which means it's not only on the back end which means you can see the product itself where you can apply actually. When you're working for your FYP, this is going to be one of the uh, programming language that is very important so that you can uh, create uh, interactive windows it with has, Java. It has like practical application to real life to help me to understand this subject better than others. Your favorite one? For my favorite subject will be um, Call a data communication. Uh, it's actually uh, a Cisco subject where, for your guys' information, Uniten is actually one of the Cisco Academy. So when we enroll in the data communication class, we are automatically enrolled in the Cisco Academy. So this specific subject, we uh, we use this platform called NetaCAD that being provided by Cisco. It's actually a professional certificate. Uh, so. There's like 17 modules that you need to be complete in the in 14 weeks of our semester duration. But the website, the NetaCAD itself is an interactive uh, website. You have a quiz, you can, uh, you have a, there's also called a packet tracer where you can download this packet tracer and you can do a virtual configuration for switches and router itself. But Uniten also have a Cisco physic, physical Cisco lab here in Uniten, where you can also configure in the computer and you can have a hands-on experience with the switches there. You can play around with the 
cable, you get to know type of cable, you get to know how to change the IP address and stuff and you can see the real device there. It's not uh, it's a very uh, great opportunity for university uh, for uni 10 student to experience this because this quality uh important for you especially when you are going for your intern it will be very good for your resume that you have this CCNA certification so that will be my favorite subject so I get the hands-on experience your favorite subject is data communication yeah <laughs> it was a very it was the hardest subject for me to be <laughs> honest because it's most of it is like theory and yeah there's no calculation at all so because for someone who likes Calculation, data combination is... No, it's just have. it's very theoretical, you know. Kinda. <laughs> and I hate theory. <laughs> um, I got to experience both online and physical class. For me, physical class, it allows me to communication, communicate directly with my peers and my classmates as well for online class. It makes my life um, much easier as a student as my class schedule can be quite packed in a day. So <coughs> I can so having an online class I get to attend um, the class anywhere I want. So for example I can just get access just from my bed. So <laughs> and for the learning material I believe that Uni10 has provided enough uh, learning material such as um, access to lecture slides, Brighton, and past paper from the library. And it really helped me a lot to learn and understand better about this program. I mean, computer software program. <laughs> so for me, uh, the, like Farha said just now, we then are able to cater for online and physical. I'm very satisfied with online and also for the physical uh, physical facilities. For the online, uh, I did. I started my uh, life, university life, in during online. Quite, I was quite uh, afraid that I will not have the full experience as a university student, or I cannot uh, learn like as if we are physical. But actually, with the Brighton. Brighton website where this lecturers put all the materials there and then universe and then uni 10 lecturers also use uh, another approach to gain us uh, to give us more interactive class although it is online such as playing Kahoot we have also played Jamboard draw IO there's a lot of interactive learning material that they use during online and for the physical as well it's uh, based on the facilities everything was very nice. We have a classroom that is a smart classroom where we can have a, there's a screen all around us so it's easy for us to learn and also there's different subject they use as a different learning material. Some of the theoretical subject the Unita lecturer make it more interactive so that it does not bore us because who likes theory if, like, if the lecturer just read through the slides we wouldn't like that but some of the lectures did a flip classroom where we are the one who teaches our friends and then there's also a group pre a pre project there's also a presentation so yeah i think it's sufficient for us in uni then mm, one that i can remember is during my database course me and my teammates, uh, we had to make this database program for clinic service that provide function like um, <coughs> appointments, medical checkup history, um, available doctors, and other function as well. Um, it involved the designing of the system, extracting and ensuring all the data were linked to each other, so that the database can integrate well with the system, and. To be honest, it was a struggle to complete the, the project, but I was satisfied with the outcome of the, of the project as it works well, as the system works well. For my project, is the, the one that I remember is the one for human-computer interaction, where we are required to do a mid-fidelity prototype, which means an interactive prototype. 
So uh, my group, we decided to do an online helper application. So we did just a prototype of it, not the whole application. But the process of it is starting from the documentation, we did a survey, we did an interview. Those are the things that you need to do as if like you wanted to build a software or an application, you need to know what are your project are going to be, what are you going to do, what product are you going to uh, deliver to your customer, to your client. So those process uh, actually um, exposes on how we will do in it in later on, let's say we are working as a software developer or software engineer. And then uh, we also did, through the process, after we got interview, we know what we wanted to do, then we provide the prototype. The prototype, we use, we use software called Figma to do the prototype. So it's like as a simple, just a simple prototype, which if you click login, what happened if you enter the wrong login, and it will prompt a invalid enter something like that and then if you click this button then which but uh, which page will prompt to you or prompt to the user uh, it takes a quite a long time actually doing a prototype although you are working in a group because when you're working in a group you have different tastes when designing that's something quite hard to do but this but still we managed to do that after we finish the prototype then we still have the documentation the, uh, there's also we are need to provide the first design that we would like to do but then as we go through the process some of the design are not relevant so some of the design we are added so those are the things that we need to document it on the documentation and then there's also uh, the presentation as if that we are presenting our product to the customer which is our lecturer that at uh, that time we were presenting the product to the lecturers so and then they're go gonna give a comment so um, in my team, there's a one or two comment that the lecturer suggested to do better. So, yeah, I think that's the, my, one of the project. <laughs> um, for me, I think the most important thing is that when you're entering computer science, you need to have the urge to learn more. Especially when you are talking about technologies, they are keep on evolving and evolving. So you need to have this uh, one thing in yourself that you would like to learn more or I wanted to learn or I wanted to know about this uh, more than anyone else. So if you have this urge to learn, to explore more, then I think you then I think that is what you can that's why you can um, succeed in the computer science. It is actually uh, a fun a fun so far I don't think I don't know like it's fun for others but it's fun for me. Uh, pursuing computer science because uh, I can relate it to my life, especially in 2023. There's a lot of new technologies involving and learning computer science can make me relate to it. And I was like, oh, I know this thing. I learned this in, in my subject, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, if you have the urge to learn and to explore, then you can succeed in computer science. <laughs> I'm just going to give the soft skills that I've learned in Uni 10. The soft skills that you need to to be in the computer science is like creative and critical thinking and also problem solving. It was like mathematics or at math where you had got to use these two skills to solve a problem. And as she said, the urge to learn, learn by yourself. Yeah, it's true because um, in school they don't teach you everything. So you got to find it yourself and teach yourself to on how to do this and that and that's what I've been that's what my thought about the skills that you need to be in computer science yeah. kind of different actually because once I thought that when I went to computer science I thought it was purely on coding at first I was kind of afraid because uh, during my high school, I don't have any basic in computer at all. I came to Unita with zero knowledge on in any coding, computing, and everything. <laughs> so when I entered Unita, I thought that I will be, I feel kind of left out. For like, oh, I thought that oh, this someone who from a high school which have a background of computing or going to succeed more than me and stuff, I I thought that I will be left out. But once I entered Unita, it's actually 
It's like starting from zero actually. People are very, very helpful, especially your lecturers and your peers are also very friendly and uh, there for you, for them to help you. And actually it's not about coding, computer science. It's not all about coding actually. There's more, there's a documentation that you need to learn. There's also a cyber law, all of this policies, guidelines, all of that. Uh, it's not only solely focused on coding. You're not, uh, you need to throw away this stigma of people saying that um, computer science is a nerd who sit down in front of a computer. Actually, no, we're a fun student who likes to mingle around actually. So I that's... thought about that before this. Like, <laughs> yeah. Computer science is just for nerdy. <laughs> True. But here am I. <laughs> <laughs> for me, um, yes, definitely. Uh, wait, um, what was the question again? <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. So yes, it has difference. Um, before this, I thought learning computer science was hard and I don't think I can survive three years of my studies because I have like literally zero knowledge of codes and the language. So after learning it here, it's kind of exciting that you be able to to build those stuff by just writing codes and like she said just now it's not about coding and uh, uh, it's uh, it's about the documentation be before you want to um, create a project or develop a project you have to make sure you have the documentation the documents you have to prepare all the documents for you and the clients it's a what we call that um, contract between you and clients so yeah computer science is fun especially in uni 10 <laughs> other than learning i would say uni 10 offers variety clubs and activities for students to be active and to be able to balance their studies and work life me myself we, i joined netball and theatre club before this and, and I enjoy both of them so it taught me on how to manage my time wisely. So studying in Uni 10, um, I like the facilities, the location itself is very near to shopping mall, shopping mall. <laughs> and also it's around Bangi and Putrajaya, there's a lot of good food around so me and my friends love to explore around us and then the facility itself it's it's very nice and colorful actually in the library. Uh, I have I also love the access of the library of the twenty four hours library. Sometimes I do studies in my room, but sometimes we just need a new environment because sitting in the room could be suffocating for one. But you can provide a twenty four hours uh, learning cent a learning center. So sometimes I do uh, study there. And then, um, and then, like Farha said just now, the co curriculum in Uni 10 is also active. There's a lot of active clubs. We have uh, robotic clubs called EVA. They're, they are building some type of things with like drones and all the robotic stuff. As for me, I'm quite active in netball, same as Farha. And then, uh, so it was quite nice actually. And then the sports, we have a sports arena here in Uni 10, so that's why. Uh, I love to play netball there because the sports center is very well managed. Uh, so whenever I have a very tiring day, has, imagine having a class from morning to the afternoon, you will feel so burnt out and sports is actually a good way to make yourself relief for a day. So yeah, come to Unita. <laughs> <laughs>